I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and let's say you walk into the AT&T store, you're set on purchasing an Android phone, and maybe you like HTC. We walk in, you see two new HTC handsets, the One VX and the One X Plus. Which one do you get? We're gonna try to find out in the dogfight. The One VX Plus, or the One VX rather, is a new phone from AT&T and HTC. It packs 4G LTE connectivity and more, and it's only available for 50 bucks. That's not bad at all, given the price point of most high-end devices. Then you have the One X Plus, a higher-end device with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. It's obviously a better spec device, but the question in this dog fight is, is it worth spending the extra $150 for this one, it's $200, or should you go with this one at $50? We'll find out in the dog fight, but first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, which we turn around and give to you for free on the site at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with rebates. You'll walk out the door paying either $50 or $200, and sometimes even cheaper at Best Buy Mobile. No rebates, no paperwork, it's a great deal. Let's take a look, part one of the One VX and the One X Plus. That's a lot of ones, but it's about to start right now. So you got HTC Sense 4 Plus over here and HTC Sense 4 over here. So obviously from a software perspective, this is running Jelly Bean, this is running Ice Cream Sandwich. So there's an immediate kind of disenfranchisement there, if you will, between both of these devices. And not only are they running different versions of Android, this one's running a newer version of Android. This is also running a newer version of HTC's user interface as well. So specs-wise, a little bit different over on this side. 8 megapixel camera as well here, 5 megapixel camera over here. Front facing shooters on both, like I said, in 4G LTE connectivity. So from a connectivity standpoint, very similar across the board. Let's just take a look at what comes pre-installed on both of these devices. AT&T code scanner over here, family map, locker, navigator, ready to go. Then you got Media Link HD over here. You got ME Infiltrator, whatever that is. Cool little game actually. Tegra Zone, which highlights some of the Tegra applications and games via their custom store, which is available only on Tegra based devices. Good quadrant standard over here, speed test over here as well, YP mobile, Wi-Fi hotspot, sound hound, and more. And then over here you get kind of a similar setup. AT&T code scanner, family map, locker, navigator, ready to go. You got device help, and over here, tune in radio, sound hound, Wi-Fi hotspot, YP mobile, and more over on the One VX. So software-wise, pretty similar over here. Where you're gonna see differences is in little things like text messaging. Let's load up text messaging and compose a new message, for example. And you notice the background here's a little bit different, and it's not over here. Well, you can personalize it over on the One X Plus, thanks to the personalized option that comes with Sense 4 Plus over here. Since this is running Sense 4, you don't get that ability. So you'll notice in menu, you can change the font size, but you can't change the background or the colors for the bubbles and more. So I can change the background here, for example, from wood grain, to, well, let's say, now let's say this, this blue one. And you can change that around. You'll also notice some slight differences, and it's hard to tell in the camera's eye, but you'll notice some differences between the keyboards as well. 4.7 inch display here, 4.5 inch display here, but Android 4.1 brings a new HTC keyboard that's surprisingly robust and functional all around. And let's say, hey there, how are you doing? Thanks for that. And you can see keyboards nice and fast and easy to type on. Let's say, hey there, hey there. Portrait to landscape transitions, nice and fast on both devices. Although you do notice a little bit of a lag here thanks to that 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU as opposed to a 1.7 gigahertz quad core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor over here. So a little bit of a difference on the processor side, but you're seeing some of these personalization differences between the two just as a result of this having Sense 4 Plus and this only having Sense 4. So you'll see it as well when I power it off and back on. These are both running the productivity lock screen, but you see on 4.1, the productivity lock screen includes the weather, whereas on 4, it does not include the weather. And when I say 4, I mean Android, 4.0, Android 4.1. You'll notice the differences between the two. Over here, lock screen still look kind of similar. You got the shortcuts down just above the ring, which is the HTC standard looking ring. And then of course you'll see some differences in the status bars, the notification bars as well, since this is running Ice Cream Sandwich and this is running Android 4.1. You obviously see the new clock that's reflective of Android 4.1. And then little things down here, like for example, in 4.1, you've got your apps or your accounts rather. I can scroll back and forth through here. See Beats audio integration over here, which you don't get in the settings over on this side. You have to activate it through a different menu. And like I said, accounts and sync over here in personal. And it just looks a little bit different on both of these devices. I keep hitting personal. Right, let's go into accounts and sync and take a look. And you can see the differences between the two units. Just minor things with icons and more. But I find that, you know, at least in the personalization front, it's nice to have the ability to personalize things like the clock widget. Whereas over here you see you've got three skins and that's about it. Stay tuned for part two. We'll cover a lot more on both of these devices. So stay tuned.